the fourth Moog mind bending challenge has started. Circuit bending is a fun way of exploring modern technology. When done on battery powered low voltage devices it's perf perfectly safe. If you're new to circuit bending this first circuit bend is a simple start. Actually it's easy. It just requires a cross point screwdriver. You can then elaborate on it by soldering in a few components and that makes it much more fun. Ultimately most circuit bending requires a small set of tools such as soldering iron, pliers, cutters and an array of components. Often I'll buy the components in bulk where I buy 500 assorted resistors or 100 assorted capacitors since I don't actually know what I'm going to need when I'm doing the bending challenges. This is the Staples Easy Button in its original packaging. If you turn it over you see there are four black rubber feet. Removing the feet reveal four cross point screws. Removing the screws reveals the circuit board. That was easy. Unscrewing the board reveals more screws and those screws can be removed so we can completely disassemble the unit. The two metal weights can be thrown can be discarded. By doing by just simply licking your finger, making it damp and pressing down on this that resistor gently, you can change its resist you can change the resistance. <laughs> this will change the blowback speed. <laughs> As you change the resistance by making this resistance smaller, the playback speed <laughs> increases. So this is actually the end of the first simple bend. That was easy. That was easy. This is the chip that's doing all the work. This is a capacitor and this is the re timing resistor. The original surface mount resistor was a 300k ohm resistor and its surface mount. The circuit board design actually has two holes for a regular style resistor. That's what I've used to solder in my 100k resistor here. So my 100k resistor is the smallest value I'm using and I've used two wires over to a 1 million ohm variable resistor. So I can go from 100,000 to 1 million ohms for this timing resistor value. That gives me a, the range of clock speed. All the way up to the fastest end. You can see I've got a wide range of variability there. That was easy. Here is the easy button that I've put back in its box with the wires that go to the timing resistor. And here is a variable resistor that I can adjust to adjust the playback speed. Oh, yes, yes, yes.